Okay, so here's a trick to learn all the locations of leads on a 12 lead EKG and also know where an MI is occurring based on ST segment elevations. Uh, this is a real easy thing to do and if you follow along and do exactly what I tell you to do, you'll have this down in under 10 minutes easy. First thing I need you to do is grab a piece of paper. Now, if you've got your paper, I want you to write out exactly what I have written out on this diagram. I want you to start with one, two, three, then you go to AVR, AVL, AVF, and in this order. And it's important that you do this order because if you do the same thing over and over, you'll memorize it a lot better. So do that as many times as it takes you. If it takes you six, seven, eight, nine times until you've got it memorized, then that's great. So go ahead and do that now. Unpause this video when you've got that done. Okay, now we're at step two. Step two is even easier than step one. All you have to do is circle these leads together that I'm going to show you and do it in the order that I show you. And I want you to have this memorized as well. So the first one you're going to circle, lead one and AVL. This isn't coming up very dark. Now you're going to move all the way to V5 and V6. And I'll explain why you're doing it in this order in a minute. You don't have to do it in a different color. I just like to kind of color coordinate to show you guys what I'm doing a little bit better. Now you're going to circle leads 2, 3, and AVF. Now you're going to move to leads V1 and V2. Circle those together. And then last, you're going to circle V3 and V4. And I do these both in green, and I'll show you why in just a second. So again, pause your video, do this as many times as it takes until you have this exact sequence memorized. It shouldn't take you very long. Use the leads you've already written down on step one. Okay guys, we're almost there. Step three. I went ahead and darkened my circle so that you guys could see them a little bit better. All you have to do for this step is just label these circles. So go straight to 1 and AVL. You're going to label that lateral. I can't write very well because I'm a male. So give me a freebie on that. I'm going to write it over here. Okay, next you're going to go ahead and write inferior, and you can put it anywhere, but make sure you know that inferior is this box. Now we are going to label the last two. Uh, this is going to be septal. And then this last one is going to be anterior. So I'll put that right here because I can't write sideways. Okay, now just like the other steps, go back through, label all your circles until you have this memorized. Then you should be able to have this whole sequence memorized. Okay, so now you're probably asking, what did I just learn? Now you learned, uh, if you're looking at a 12 lead EKG, now you know what all the leads are, the order that they go in. And also, all these circles, these are areas where if you're looking at a 12 lead EKG and it has ST elevation, let's say it has ST elevation in lead 1 and AVL, now you know because you know that this is the lateral side because you've circled it and you can, you've memorized it you know that that's where the MI is occurring. Also, 2, 3, and AVF, now you know that 
the MI is occurring in the inferior side of the heart. Septal and anterior, a lot of times you'll see ST elevation not only in V1 and V2, but V3 and V4. So I did both those green because sometimes you'll have what's called a anterior septal MI, which is pretty common. And also lateral is red because this is also lateral and that's in V5 and V6. So if you ever find ST elevation, you'll know where the MI is occurring because you've memorized it. Thanks guys for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and click like on YouTube and uh, subscribe to our channel. We're going to have a whole lot more videos coming out. Thanks again.